Hello, oh, Bravs. We're coming to a conclusion of this cardamancy self-reading. And we move on to the King of Diamonds as ex explicated in when Wenzel Brown's How to Tell Fortunes with Cards. The King of Diamonds... The King of Diamonds represents a tremendously complex man, subtle, artistic, highly intelligent, sounds like me, with many hidden facets. To his personality, he is prone to quick temper. That's right. Though he may conceal this, no, I'm not going to conceal it. Rage at all moments. This to forward his own ends. If he does not, he will possess a biting wit, which creates many enemies for him. He has the capacity for rigid self-control, but may give way to rages and even violence. No, I'm not that violent. This man is a creator. He is possessed of a driving, restless force that will give him no peace, but which acts as a spur so that he is constantly seeking some fresh achievement. He is a skilled organizer, quick to see values, especially in such fields as art, the theater, hate it, literature, advertising, or business enterprises, which require vision and quick grasp of ambitious plans. His failings are lack of tact, disinterested in detail, impatience, and a tendency to underestimate others. He is mercurial in temperament. He can be suave, ingratiating, and highly attractive to women, of course. However, he is likely to be cursed with the streak of cruelty, a streak, to ride roughshod over those who stand in his way. And most do, when he is in the throes of some creative passion, he will, can be, he will be completely absorbed, seemingly indifferent, or even callous in his relationship to his associates and even his family. Despite this, he has a strong sense of family unity, especially if it concerns his children. His loyalties can be deep and intense, although often shrouded by the appearance of offhandedness or overly sharp criticism. He is a master of subtlety, indirection, and intrigue, but capable of generous gestures and lofty ideas. Despite his appearance of aggressiveness, he can be easily hurt, and he craves acceptance and a circle of warm friends. His moods may shift with, shift with lightning speed. Elation may be followed by dark despair and overpowering depression. Beneath his external self-confidence is self-doubt and fear of inadequacy. He badly needs someone to bolster his ego and a confidant to whom he can impart his soaring ambitions. While he may lash out at such a person, person in a fit of anger or frustration, he will later be contrite and will seek to make redress with exaggerated praise. Expensive gifts, cajolery, or elaborate gestures. Never expensive gifts. He is a natural-born actor, though he rarely is attracted to the stage because he dislikes to take direction. He prefers the world as his theater and throws himself into role after role. He is likely to be a man of excesses and should be clear, cherry, chary of overeating, drugs, and alcohol, and other stimulants. Where the king of diamonds appears in the middle of the spread of the male querent, the indication is that he has many of the attributes of this card. He should be cautioned and direct his talents to direct his talents into constructive channels to guard his temper to talk to uh, establish loyal friendships and to avoid excesses and a tendency to try to move ahead too rapidly. Such a man has a great need for a warm intimate relationship with a woman. But his selection must be made with consummate care. He may find the ideal helpmate in the Queen of Spades, whose utter calm, intuitive powers, and recognition of artistic leanings in others will give him ballast in his periods of discouragement and will add to his sense of accomplishment when he has been successful. However, he is likely to prefer the adoring Queen of Hearts of whom he may soon tire. <laughs> or the more frivolous queen of clubs. No, I got the queen of diamonds up there. Who is less likely to offer him the stability which he requires. The female querent who finds the king of diamonds in the middle of the spread is either in, those, in close contact with a many-talented and complex man 
or will meet such a man in the near future. It may be that the presence of this card is a warning that she has not recognized the soaring aspirations, the dreams, the hidden skills, and latent talents of a husband, son, suitor, or companion. If this is so, it isn't. She should try to establish a closer rapport with this motherfucker, for she will find her own life will be made richer, more exciting, and more meaningful by achieving a unity of mind and spirit with the king of diamonds. When this card is in the upper left-hand wing, it isn't the female querent may have a choice of linking herself to the king of diamonds or of keeping clear of him. In this case, she should examine her own personality with care. Does she wish to lead a turbulent, explosive life in which she must subjugate her own personality to that of another? Has she the stability, the tolerance, the generosity of spirit and mind to grapple with the problems which such a union will bring? She may help raise such a man to the heights of success, but there will be many disappointments and heartbreaks along the way. If she fails, she may do both the man and herself a grave injustice. This is the road which only the stalwart should choose. If the querent is male and the king of diamond lies in the upper wings of the spread, it doesn't, and the indications is of a close alliance between the querent and a man of mercurial temperament. This may be a friendship, a father-son relationship, or a business association, but in most cases, the intimacy will extend beyond this. The querent will be likely to act either in the role of a patron or protege of the King of Diamonds. This may be a fruitful relationship and one filled with promise, but the querent should be warned not to be bedazzled or bejazzled by the associate's brilliance. He, mu he must keep his own personality and integrity intact. Lest he become a puppet of a more fearful individual. The king of diamonds, when found in the lower wings of the spread, may spell opportunity or disaster. The other cards in the spread should provide the clues as to what the king of diamonds may have to offer and whether or not it should be accepted. When the king of diamonds appears in these lower wings, he will enter the querent's life for a brief period of time and then depart. If the querent is a woman, she will not be able to hold this man, no matter how hard she may try. The querent is a man. He should be aware of any impulsive action which may destroy the foundation of his business or his social or family life. So I guess that means there's going to be some bro advice coming up. Maybe he will be a friend of this new woman, this queen of hearts, this upside down woman. This face card of love. All right, Bob, that's all. We now await the five of hearts. Goodbye, bruv.